Do you know you can predict market direction by open interest? How? We'll learn that in this video. But before getting started, if you are watching this for the first time, this is the ninth video of Sensible's option learning series. And I strongly recommend watching all the previous videos to get a good understanding of options. You can find it on Sensible's YouTube channel here, or you can find the link in the description of this video. Also, if you are loving our efforts, do like this video and other videos. This gives us the motivation to work harder. Soon we are releasing option strategies video and Hindi version of this option learning series. For that, please subscribe to Sensible's YouTube channel so that you get notified. Welcome to this option series where we are learning options from the very basics to complete advanced level. In the previous video, we have compared the PNL and perspective of option buyer and option seller. In this video, we'll see what is open interest. So let's begin. Open interest helps you predict the market direction and make money. Now that I got you interested, let us dive right in. What is this open interest thing anyways? Let us say that you and I are the only traders in the market. No one has traded anything so far. You want to buy a nifty 17,000 call option from me. So I sell you a call option. Now there is a call option contract between you and me. The open interest of nifty 17,000 contract is in other words, open interest is the number of contracts open in the market on any instrument at any point of time. Let us continue the example. You want to buy 5 more nifty 17,000 calls. So I sell you 5 calls. Now the open interest of 17,000 call is 6. 1 plus 5. Next, you sell 2 contracts of nifty 17,000 call back to me. Now the open interest reduced to 4. Why? Because two contracts are squared off. There are only four contracts open. You have four buy and I have four sell positions. Next, you decide to do something in another strike. You want to buy three lots of nifty 17,500 calls. So I sell you that. Now the open interest of 17,000 call is four. Open interest of 17,500 call is three. And the total open interest in nifty calls is 7. 4 plus 3. Now let's jump into the interesting topic of predicting the market with open interest. But before getting into that, some important points to note. Open interest works only when there is a big open interest. In other words, it works in instruments and expiries with a lot of trading happening. This means highly liquid, highly traded contracts. The most reliable open interest is Nifty Weekly. Bank Nifty Weekly is kind of reliable, but not as reliable as Nifty Weekly. Nifty Monthly works towards the end of the month. It does not work at the beginning of the month because there is little activity in the beginning of the month in the monthly contracts. But towards the end of the month, the monthly contract is a weekly contract. Do not use open interest in far month contracts for any underlying, even nifty. Open interest does not work for stocks outside the nifty 50 universe. It doesn't work well even outside nifty's biggest 10 stocks. Because the cash and the future volumes are bigger than the option volumes in these stocks. Also, in these stocks, there is not much action happening in options. Smaller stocks and their option chain with lower volumes can be manipulated. It is impossible to manipulate Nifty. Unless it is, you know, who. Do not look at open interest alone. Use it in conjunction with the charts and FIA data. Do not use anything alone in fact. Open interest does not work 100% of the time. In fact, nothing works 100% of the time. 40 to 50% weightage to the charts. 25 to 30 percent weightage to OI and 25 to 30 percent to the other data such as FIA data etc. One bonus tip. 
Open interest does not work in currency options. Majority of trading in currencies is in the interbank markets, not on the NSC CDS segment. Bottom line, use open interest for Nifty weekly options, sometimes bank Nifty weekly options, once in a while for very big stocks in Nifty top 10 and never for small stocks. Use it with charts and other data such as FII data. Now let's come to the point. How to read open interest? Nifty is at 17,000. What happens when a option buyer buys 17,500 call? Buyer is losing just a small premium, max. Buyer is not paying any margin. Probably buyer does not have much money. It does not need much conviction to take this limited loss lottery. Buyer has a lower probability of profit. What about seller? Seller has a unlimited loss. Seller is also paying the exchange a huge margin. It takes a lot of conviction to sell an option. Seller has a higher probability of profit. The option buyer is a retail investor and the option seller most probably is a big institution. Big institutions know what they are doing. They have advanced tools and probably more information. Most of the time, big guys win. Think about insurance companies. Insurance companies are like option sellers. They might lose once or twice when they have to pay for the damage. But in the long run, the chances of them losing are so rare. They will end up making a lot of money. So what happens when Nifty is at 17,000 and there is a lot of OI in Nifty 17,500 call? Which means a lot of option sellers have sold Nifty 17,500 calls thinking Nifty will not cross 17,500. The sellers are likely to be right. Nifty is unlikely to go above 17,500. This means 17,500 is a resistance. A resistance is a price above which the stock is unlikely to go. A call strike above the current Nifty price with a huge OI is a resistance. And what happens when there is a lot of open interest in Nifty 16,500 put? A lot of option sellers have sold the Nifty 16,500 put thinking that Nifty will not cross 16,500 mark and we know that the sellers have more information, more resources, so they are likely to be right. Nifty is unlikely to go below 16,500. This means 16,500 is a support. A support is a price below which the stock is unlikely to go. A put strike below the current Nifty price with a huge OI is a support. Moving forward, we'll see how to read an option chain. So what is an option chain? So option chain is a listing of all the available option contract on each and every strike for a stock. So in option chain, when a call option open interest is created, that means someone big is betting it won't go above that particular mark and they are most likely right and high chances are that the strike level will not be crossed. The level usually act as a resistance and when put option open interest is created, someone big is betting it won't go below that mark. They are most likely right and high chances the strike level will not be crossed. This level usually act as a support. Let's take a real life example to understand this open interest support and resistances. So I have taken an interesting case here. So if you see on 21st January 2022, market has fallen for three days consecutively and on 21st of January, market has made, Nifty has made a doji candle. So seeing this, you might not get what do you want to do. If you want to sell here, if you want to buy here, because market has already fallen for three days, 
it may it may take the support and it can uh, go up again since the previous trend was completely positive so by seeing the chart alone i was not able to make a definitive conclusion what i want to do do i want to sell do i want to buy since i was not getting a good idea from the charts so i went to option chain and want to see what's happening on the open interest front so if you see on 21st jan there were 17 million calls were written and only 9 million puts were written so if you see here there were huge resistances on the upside and not very great supports on the downside and if i look at the overall option chain here also you will not find good supports on the bottom there are very less put writing so less put writing means less supports and more call writings uh, means more resistances so here i here from open interest i get a good idea that boss from charts it's not clear but the open interest says there are huge resistances on the upside but not very great support on the downside so the open interest gave me a clear idea that if i want to trade today i should take a bearish trade so this is how you can combine your open interest analysis with your chart analysis just a quick update here every day abed and i do a daily market analysis show for nifty bank nifty and usd inr in both english and hindi language there also we do a chart analysis open interest analysis and fia dia data analysis and we create a broad conclusion where market can go what trade we should take and what trade should we avoid which is more important by the way so if you want to get notified for that subscribe to sensible's youtube channel click on the bell icon so whenever we go live you get a notification instant notification for that so see you there moving forward support and resistance need not to be a point it can be a zone by this i mean it is not necessary that the support and resistance is only that one strike it can be multiple strikes with high and comparable oi for example when nifty is at 17000 call of strikes 17400 and 17500 can have high oi making 17400 to 17500 a resistance zone similarly when nifty is at 17000 put off strike 16600 16500 or 16400 can have a high oi making 16600 to 16400 a support zone coming to the next topic which is change in open interest open interest signifies only the current situation of the market it does not show you in which direction the momentum is building up for that you have to look at the daily change in the open interest to understand the change in open interest with an example let's say you are standing somewhere and i send you a location of a car by that location you won't be able to guess if that car is moving away from you or coming towards you but if i send you another location of that car by comparing these two locations you can analyze that the car is moving towards you or if it is going away from you similarly if i tell you that 17500 call has 1 lakh open interest you will immediately make a conclusion that 17500 is a good resistance fair enough but what if i tell you that three days back the open interest was three lakh now the perspective has suddenly changed and you will say that the resistance is getting weaker day by day now the resistance the 17500 uh, strike is a weaker resistance for you not a strong resistance so this change in open interest will tell you what is happening day by day in the market and for that you have to look the daily change in the open interest going to the final topic that is put call ratio which is generally referred as pcr pcr is the ratio of open interest of all the puts and open interest of all the calls more open interest in the put side then the calls give a higher value of pcr but the more open interest in the call side than the put gives a lower value of pcr 
higher PCR is referred as bullish because there are more puts than calls and the big sellers are willing to sell puts more than the calls meaning they are saying that the market won't go down much. It is bullish but does not mean you go long. We'll discuss this in a while. Lower PCR is referred as bearish. More calls than puts so big sellers are willing to sell calls more than the puts means they are scared of market falling and not so much of rising. Bearish but do not mean you go short. What do I mean by this and the previous statement? PCR can be high because of high open interest in calls or put that are away from the current strike. This does not mean anything. For example, Nifty is at 17,000. There is a huge call OI at 18,000. It does not mean anything. So you have to look for PCR near the current Nifty prices strike. Long story short, it is all right to look at PCR as a shortcut measure, but always stick to the first principle. Look at the open interest or the option chain. Before wrapping up, I have a quick question for you. See this snapshot of option chain and what do you think are the primary resistance zone and support zone in this particular case? Comment down your answers and I will feature your name in the next video. So that's it for this particular episode. I hope you have got a good understanding of open interest and how option chain works. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and we'll set a like target of around 3000. Soon we are coming up with the option strategies video. For that, subscribe to Sensible's YouTube channel and press the bell icon so that you get notified. And I wish you safe and happy trading with Sensible. Bye-bye.